Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to separate the username part from the domain in an email address. Today's question comes from McKenna from Seattle, Washington, one of my gold members. McKenna says, I've got a list of email addresses and I need to isolate just the username part from the domain. How can I do that? Well, let's take a look how to do that. Start with a copy of my Tech Help free template. You can download a copy of this from my website. I'll put a link down below. If you take a look at the customer T table, you'll see there's a list of customers, each with an email address. Well, what McKenna wants to do is separate out that username part. So she wants everything in front of the at sign. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to use a query to do that. So go to create, query design. And we're going to bring in the customer table into our query, just like that. Close the add tables list. Now in here, we'll just bring in the email address. And of course, you can bring in whatever other fields you need. Now down here, we're going to create a calculated query field. If you've never done a calculated query field before, I've got a video on how to do that. Go watch that video now and then come back to this one. The first thing we're going to do is use the instring function which finds the location of a character in a string to locate the position of that at sign. So here's what it's going to look like. We're going to call the field at pose, A-T-P-O-S, colon, and that's going to be in string, the in string function, in the email address field, just email, comma, and then inside of quotes, the at sign. I'll zoom in so you can see that better. There it is. Create a new field called at pose, Set it equal to the in string of email, comma, and then inside of quotes, the at pose character. That's the separator between the username and the domain. Now, when I run this query, I get a number. What's that number represent? That's the character position. If you count across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that is the eighth character in that string, in the email string. Down here, there's a few more characters, so that's the 11th position. Okay? Now, knowing that number, we can use the left function to take everything to the left of that and separate that into its own field. So let's go back to query design. Next calculated field over here, we'll use the left function. Let's call this username colon. This will be the left of email comma. How many characters? Well, at pose that field we just created minus one because we don't want the at character itself right so I want I want the left seven characters for example eight minus one all right let's see what we get now look at that there we go and it's that easy that's using the in string function and the left function and of course if you actually want to save that value in the table now in a separate field you could use an update query if you want. I've got separate videos on how to use update queries. I'll put links to that down below. If you want to learn more about these string functions like left and in string, I cover them in my Access Expert 14 class. I'll put a link to that down below. And if you want to learn more, the extended cut of this video, I'll cover more for the members, including we'll separate the domain part out. Yes, there's a right string function as well. We'll count the number of unique domains. So you can see this. I have this many Gmail accounts. I have this many Yahoo accounts and so on. We'll change the email domain. Let's say you've got a company that's changing its domain name. All right. They want to change from Amicron.com to 599cd.net. I'll show you how to do that. That will be in the extended cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. 
Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my Tech Help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.